another day, another handful of hog moths. I'm in the Dominican Republic and well as you can see hog moths are really easy to find here. Interestingly I've uh, looked around in nature in the wild oops there goes one but who cares I have enough of them anyway. Uh, interestingly I've been looking for them uh, in the wild and I found none of them in the wild, really, I mean in the bush. Um, well, all of these moths were collected in my hotel, literally inside of my hotel lobby, where they were attracted to the lights. Well, these tiny ones, we probably know them as Enyo Lugubris. They are uh, interesting uh, little hog moths that are common here and that feed on, uh, for example, vines like grapevine. And here we have a very nice one. It's the color is actually a greenish. It's hard to see its actual color on video, but it's a really beautiful moth. So here you can see the color better. It's a little green. But what's also interesting are the hind wings. I hope I can show you the hind wings before it flies away. I mean, it's probably going to fly away now. Ah, there we go. Did you see the, the red on the hind wings? They're bright red with blue. Sorry, buddy. Yes, did you see it? Beautiful. And this is the, the Amorpha fasciatis. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm wearing my swimming trunks. I mean, I'm on vacation after all. Oh, there we go. Did you see that hind wing? It's flashing them as a warning. Don't touch me. It's a harmless moth, but these kind of defense mechanisms are common. So yeah, Eumorpha fasciatus, everyone, remember the name. And it's such a shame I can't take them home, because I would love to breed this kind of thing in the Netherlands, really. I mean, it would be a dream to have to breed these in my own home. Uh, but I think this is a male, so obtaining eggs is impossible right now, unfortunately. And even if it was possible, I don't have the host plant because it's winter in my country, which is a shame. So I'll have to revisit the Dominican Republic. Ah, oh, look, that blue color here. It's incredible. It's incredible. So what I was about to say, I'll have to revisit the Dominican Republic sometime when the season is more favorable in my, favorable in my country. And you, if officially you need export permits to take them home too. But um, who cares about permits really? Oh wait, I should set a good example. Don't smuggle insects, kids. But yeah, still. So, well that's it for now. Maybe I can show you another shot of the hind wings. I mean, at some point it's going to fly away. So, yes. Beautiful, really beautiful. So thanks for watching everybody. And until next time.